We're here in Cal State San Bernardino's Cell Culture Lab, and we're going to get started on passaging cells. So first we need to lift up the hood to the sash level. We're going to go ahead and turn the blower on and add the light. And then we're going to begin cleaning the hood with ethanol alcohol. Right? making sure to clean our hands and all the surfaces and all the instruments that we're going to be using. We're going to be using Kim wipes to wipe down the hood. Now that all the surfaces are clean, we can begin packaging our cells. This is our flask of mirroring embryonic stem cells that we're going to be passaging. And this is a view from the inverted microscope of our mirroring embryonic stem cells that we're going to be passaging over in the hood, onto the hood with Josh. Before we begin, we need to make sure we have all the correct materials to do our passaging. So first, we need complete media. We're going to need trypsin. We're going to need a centrifuge tube, our pipette, and a waste jar, and a mechanical pipette aid. We're going to begin with getting a pipette and undoing the top. We're going to hook it to the pipette aid and remove it from the packaging, making sure not to touch the tip to anything. We're going to take the lid between our fingers, not to set it down and not to contaminate, carefully removing old media and placing it into the waste jar. We're going to start with the trypsin using a new pipette. Again, making sure not to touch the tip to anything. We're going to use 0.5 to 1 mil of trypsin. And we're going to add the trypsin to our cells. And what this trypsin is going to do is going to detach the cells from the flask. Next, we're going to take the cells and place them in the 37 degree incubator for about 10 to 20 seconds. And that's going to help the cells to detach quicker. It's been 20 seconds, so we're going to go ahead and remove the cells from the incubator. And we're going to go ahead and remove the trypsin. Just before we remove the trypsin, we want to make sure the cells are starting to detach. So we go ahead and look at them under the inverted microscope, and here we can see that they are now moving. So it's okay to go ahead and remove the trypsin. Okay, we're going to go ahead and remove the trypsin. In order to do so, we're going to add new media to it and go ahead and centrifuge to get a pellet. And then we're going to remove the pellet, resuspend it, and we'll have a new thing of cells. So we're going to go ahead and add the media to our flask of cells with trypsin. Ready when you are. Using a new pipette, we're going to go ahead and transfer the media, trypsin, and cells into a centrifuge tube so that we can go ahead and enter it into the centrifuge and receive a pellet.
going to go ahead and take our tube to the centrifuge, but we're going to need a blank in order to balance the centrifuge. So we're going to go ahead and place it into the centrifuge right now. We're going to go ahead and close the lid and turn it on for a few minutes. It's been approximately five minutes, so we're going to go ahead and remove our tube from the centrifuge. We're going to go ahead and view the pellet. And as you can see at the very tip, there is a white dot. That is our pellet of cells. So we're going to go ahead and remove the pellet and resuspend them in media into a new flask. Once again, using a new pipette, we're going to go ahead and remove the media from the centrifuge tube, making sure to leave our pellet. Once more, using a new pipette, being sure not to touch the tip to anything, so we have a nice sterile technique. We're going to go ahead and use the designated media for MESC cells. We're going to go ahead and add our media into our pellet. It's okay to put down the cap this time, as we are already done with the centrifuge tube and we'll not be needing it any further. We're going to very carefully add the media and then resuspend our pellet. Carefully adding, adding media up our pipette and down our pipette. We're going to go ahead and remove all the remaining contents of the centrifuge tube and replace it into a flask. Making sure not to touch the rim of the flask and holding the cap between our fingers, adding the media and the cells into the flask. Once we have finished, we're going to go ahead and take the flask over to the microscope and check to see if our cells are in the flask properly. Before we take it to the microscope, we want to make sure the cells have an even distribution, so we're going to go ahead and move the flask back and forth and side to side. We're going to go ahead and take a look at our cells under the microscope once more to make sure that we have successfully passaged them. And there you have it. We have successfully passaged our cells. Thank you for joining us in the Cell Culture Lab today.